Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from the Dude's Kitchen and Grill and today we're doing something that's it's a little out of the ordinary but it is full of flavor. I mean there are tons of it. I've never done this before. Today was the first time I've ever had this. But before we do that, we want to put another sticker on the fridge of fame. That's right. My buddy Ryan over at Ryan G's Barbecue and Stuff over in the UK sent me some stickers. Ryan's got a really cool channel. I'll put a link down there and I'll put a link up here to it. You got to check him out. He and his buddy Matt are doing a show like on every Friday on YouTube where they have guests come in, kind of talk about their channels. I was one of the first ones to do it. Very much an honor. Thank you very much, you guys. I had a blast. If you get a chance to check it out, please do so. It's on Fridays. Anyhow, we're going to take Ryan's sticker and put it up on the fridge. So like I said, Ryan sent us some stickers all the way from the UK. Totally cool. Here's his stickers. Where do you think I should put them? Right there. You know what? He sent us two. And because it's all the way from the UK, he's going to get two spots. First one's right there. The second one's right there. It goes up there with the Pickles Barbecue and Uncle Steve's Shake and Barbecue Pit Dogs. All right, guys, if you'd like to send me some stickers and be shown up here on the Fridge of Fame, drop me a line and we can make it happen. I'd also like to give you guys a plug if you send me a sticker. All right, guys, let's get back to cooking our food. So just what is it that we're making? Well, we're doing morel mushrooms. Like I said, I've never done this before. My buddy Nate, he goes to his parents' place. I've got this huge ranch in Eastern Oregon. And he picks them and he came over the other day, gave me some. Really appreciate that, Nate. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the Cuisinart on. And I'm gonna take cube of butter and we're going to melt it down. So this is what we're going to cook it in. Just like that. So while that does its thing, I'm going to show you the, the mix that we're going to use these marrow mushrooms in. So I have a cup and a half of just all-purpose flour. I have two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, one teaspoon of pepper, and one teaspoon of smoked paprika. Now you're asking where's the salt? Well, normally I think I would probably put salt in this, but when I tried this earlier, I decided to use Uncle Steve's, the original. Just gonna throw that in there. Just gonna give it a little extra flavor. Seal it up. Shake it around a little bit. Get all those, to get everything together. All, oh man. See what happens when you don't do it right? You know what that's like, Chris, right? Got it all mixed up now. Did have some spillage over here. It's all mixed up now. Now while the butter melts, I'm gonna show you a little thing about morel mushrooms. So when you get morel mushrooms, you go pick them, you bring them home, you just soak them in a salt brine, right? And you soak them for about two hours and that gets all the little bugs and sand and debris off of them. You take them out, you rinse them off, and then you do it again. So we've already done the first part. The second part we do is just take them out. Chris, you like a good morel mushroom, right? I got three of you uh, today. And so you just cut them in half, all right? Now you got two. Now I throw them in the water. 
I do the same thing with the next one. In the water. Doesn't matter how small or how large these things are, you cut them in half. Now another thing too I learned is the bigger ones, the darker they are, the older they are, they're still fine, no worries, no problems. So I got them in the water. I'm just gonna take some kosher salt. And I'm gonna dump a bunch in here. Mix it up a little bit. Put the lid on. And same thing, these are gonna sit for about two hours. And this will allow anything that's inside the mushroom now to come out, and then you have a clean mushroom. So at this point, we're just waiting for the butter to melt and come up to, to temp. And when that happens, we'll start mixing everything together and get this cooking. During the break, I did grab something very important to do. I did some cleaning up. The mutter, the mutter, the butter melted. Now, how do I know when the butter's ready? You just start seeing it boil up from the bottom. But I wanted to show you guys a morale mushroom. This is pretty much a morale mushroom, right? The inside of it, it's very clean. It kind of reminds me of like tripe or something on the outside, but that's really all we're doing. From this point, we're gonna just put our mushrooms. I'm gonna throw all of them in here. I'm gonna seal it up again and hope that it's actually sealed. Well, for whatever reason, my bag's not sealing. But you get the idea. Right? Let's get those things really nice and coated. From here, you just do a couple at a time, right? So I'm gonna grab one of these, throw it in. So just a couple is all you need. Well, if a couple were four, that's how many you would need. We're just gonna let these things cook down and I'll show you. You can see it's starting to bubble up around it. It's good. These things only take, I don't know, six, seven minutes to cook. Could almost qualify it as a, as a quick bite. One of the things that I've noticed is that the first ones really soak in a lot of butter. So I did put another half stick of butter in there and that's okay. You put in whatever you want. But I think these things are approaching done. fact, I'm going to take the first ones off. Well, there's another one in here somewhere. There he is. It's time to do it again. That looks like it's it. Oh, one more. Bonus. We're getting close to the seven minute mark here. They're starting to look really good. In fact, I think I'm gonna start pulling some of them off. Or the smaller ones.
Now I know these things are kind of messy, but I mean seriously, that. That's from our original batch. Got some other ones here. I think that's from our original batch. Good stuff, guys. So at this point, we're just gonna let them cool down and then give them a give them a try. So it's been another five minutes, and these things are done. Try it out. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's almost like eating a a dumpling, really. It's, that's kind of the texture of it. I get I get the garlic. I get the paprika out of it. I get the Uncle Steve's out of it. It's good stuff, guys. Seriously. It all just comes together perfectly. All right, guys. On behalf of Steve, the camera guy, and myself, I want to thank you for watching this episode. Remember to check out Ryan G's barbecue and stuff. Great guy. Good channel. We made morel mushrooms. I'm sure there's a hundred different ways to make this, but this is how I like it. We got the dogs barking again. Ain't nothing wrong with that. What's new? Recipes down below. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell, yell at the dogs next door for barking, and comment. Remember, the dude abides this time with morel mushrooms. Talk to you later, guys.